Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. My name is Nikki Kirk and I do Amazon FBA retail arbitrage. I just took the longest trip I've ever taken to get back to Oregon to source grocery outlet. So I'm originally from Oregon and I love sourcing grocery outlet and I have been missing it terribly because there are so many good leads. So I got on a plane, brought all my supplies with me, and I have a week here. I'm gonna go sourcing three days, all day, every day for three days, then pack it up and drop it at the UPS store and then fly right back. This is my first time doing it. And between the cost of the rental car, which I got a Jeep Wrangler, they gave me a Jeep Wrangler, right? It's a Wrangler, yeah, anyways. It's a big one, it's got a lot of room back there. Um, I'm a little concerned because I've taken my parents' Jeep Cherokee before and that has no room. My truck actually holds a whole lot. But this looks like it's almost double the truck size, so we're gonna see how it goes. I have to recover all of that in profit to be able to be worth it to do this. So TBD on this, if this is worth it, but it is definitely fun to break out of the normal cycle that I've been in and travel again. So anyways, let's head to the first grocery outlet and see how we do. grocery outlet today plus a Walmart so so far I'm feeling okay it was a tiny Walmart so I didn't get much but I did spend about $1,500 at the two grocery outlets so here's how today went most of the expiration days that I scanned today were August and August is literally 120 days out so if you sell on Amazon and you didn't know things need to be expiring for FBA 120 days out minimum so that means September is okay but August is not I scanned so much June, July, and August. It's incredibly frustrating. Um, it's also meltable season and there's a ton of really good things that are meltable that I could sell FBM. However, since I'm traveling, I can't FBM. So it's kind of like a little bit bittersweet just leaving it here. But I did do okay other than that. If you are worried about potential IPs or brands that might issue an IP, here is one thing to definitely watch out for. So this keto cup was one of the first things I scanned and it looked good, right? It looks like it's gonna make money. But then when you scan through and you see that the only seller is the brand, that is like almost 100%, 99%, you're gonna get an IP if you list on it. So that is one thing to look out for. There are tools like IP Alert, which they've given me a code, Nikki, for $30 off for IP Alert. They have an app thing on your phone. It's like, it's one of those apps where you like download it from the web and then it's on your phone. Anyways, it's, I call it an app, but it's technically not in the app store. But here's the cool thing about IP Alert since it is meltable season, it will tell you if things are meltable. So if you're not really sure if this item's considered meltable, you can just put the ASIN in on IP Alert and it will let you know. And now it's also reading the ASINs to tell you the brand. You used to have to type in the brand, but now you can put an ASIN, so that's really cool. That looks like something that recently updated because it wasn't like that last week. Again, if you want this, it's like a one-time lifetime payment. You can save $30 off. The link is below, or it's just the discount code Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, which you can use for IP Alert. Here's a couple of things that I ran into. So like these chips, they're technically chicken, which is just so weird and gross. But anyways, they make a lot of profit. However, I'm not comfortable doing chips like that seems like it's just gonna get crushed unless you like over package it and at that point are you making a profit when you're boxing your chips anyways so that was one I ran into which looks really good but again it's chips I ran into a kind of a funky glitch so I don't even know what this was but on the front screen of this item it shows a low rank but when you click through it's like 300,000 rank and I did check it on Keepa and it goes up and down so I'm technically it probably sells like three or four a month but that was just weird. I've seen glitches where the 
price is different on the front and usually that means that's what the buy box price is right now then when you click through it's just going to go to the low price but anyways that was a weird glitch that happened today also today i've had to be searching amazon.com like i'm a customer for items because things just aren't coming up in the app so i was in there doing that probably almost as much as i was scanning in the app which did work out i did find a lot of listings so it was good it's just kind of annoying that you can't just scan it and search in the app here's an item the the expiration date was one of those august expiration dates so it was too close but i really was i wanted to test it because look at that profit it's a great item so that's a bummer then here's a coffee bundle that i found but again the profit so if you don't know my profit is at least five dollars but then also 50 percent. so if i'm spending that much money on a bundle or anything really i want to be making at least 50 percent roi so that is not enough profit for me to take the work to prep it and send it in especially it's kind of boxy so those are my rules the reason i do that is because things go down in price right amazon sellers are always worried and they're like always oh, undercutting it and eventually or some just person who doesn't know what they're doing just comes on and lists it super low but anyways it's just a thing that happens all the time on amazon so that's why i have my five dollar minimum profit roll two more reminders to wind out day one is don't sell lucetta this is what it looks like it's everywhere if you've seen it in my videos you've probably seen me do this every time i see it i remind you guys not to sell it they will issue an ip and then always ask for approval so ask for approval all day today and here's a couple screenshots of me getting auto approved you just always want to ask click through and ask if you are a new seller go into your pantry your bathroom wherever you have a product that has a barcode and scan stuff and just ask for approval because you'll be surprised where you can actually get approved to sell. So that is day one. Now I'm going to head home and plan. I'm gonna go through the bolo sheets. I'm gonna go through, make a list of what I just bought and see what I wanna get more of. It's kind of tricky since I'm just flying in for a week is normally I would buy a little bit and test it cause I can go get more of it, but I can't really, so trying to decide if I want to risk buying a little more than I normally would to test. Anyways, I will fill you in tomorrow bright and early when I head out for day two. day two now and it's raining here um i just hit up my third grocery outlet i have two more to do today so third overall two more today it'll be seven by the time this sourcing trip is done i first hit up walmart and winco this morning because walmart opens at six and winco is open 24 hours i actually left walmart empty-handed and normally i will find one toy or maybe two things or a coffee but to leave totally empty-handed is a first but it's because i'm sourcing on a monday i think anyways monday is like after the weekend they haven't gotten a truck yet everything's just kind of crazy so um there was literally nothing so that sucked winco was a little bit better i got a couple of things so here's a bundle listing that i found in there at the grocery outlet so far today i've spent 820 dollars at this one um, it was a little slow going in the beginning it's always so slow in that first like health and beauty aisle but here's what i could tell you I've seen most of that stuff at Ollie's too, so it is everywhere. So if you're watching this video going, I don't like grocery outlet, I'm not around there. Well, you find the same stuff at Ollie's and TJ Maxx. Here is something that did happen. Um, so I wasn't sure if one item that I got was hazmat because there's some like things where you don't think it is. It's a dishwasher detergent and just sometimes some of them get marked and I can't be doing FBM right now. So I need it to be able to go in. So on your phone you can look it up in store you just go to seller central and you go up there to that search bar honestly that search bar is your best friend if you didn't know you can literally type in anything and you can get to the help or amazon pages on what you're looking for so i typed in hazmat lookup and it pops up the asin and you can give it a check and see if it's hazmat it was not hazmat but here is one that is hazmat just so i can show you how to do it that i knew it was going to be hazmat so i knew it was going to show you Anyways, so that's one thing. Another thing to watch out for, potential IPs. I was looking up some teas 
and this one you see how they're all celestial seasonings or whatever seasons and then you get to this one and it is not it's a different brand there so that is a red flag that it's going to be possibly an ip because some seller made it up so just something to watch for as you're scanning i'm going to go to target next tj maxx home goods ross all those stores and then on my way to my second grocery outlet hopefully i get some good stuff at these other ones because so far i'm not so sure this trip was worth it and i want it to be worth it i'm having fun at least besides the rain Anyways, off we go. just got done at my second grocery outlet of the day and I did a lot better in there first I went to TJ Maxx which I got a couple of replens one new beauty item and that was pretty much it then I went to home goods which was right there in the same parking lot and got nothing walked away empty-handed from there then I came over to this second grocery outlet where I did feel like I made much better I started to get those buys like the, here's a couple examples of course I'm blurring them out I'm sorry um, but they cost $2.99 and $3.99 and they make five and eight dollars. I think the other one was eight. Anyways, they make good profit and those are the kind of wins that just like make me happy that I really needed today because it was like, meh. I think the shipment's gonna end up being okay. I don't know if it's gonna be the most profitable shipment, but I still got another day of sourcing plus a little bit more today. So next up, I'm gonna go to Target really fast, do a run through. I'm really just looking at toys at Target. Then I'm gonna go to another Marshalls, the last grocery outlet, then I'm gonna go to Walmart. Hopefully find something. Hopefully they've stocked a little bit at this next one by the evening. I don't like going to Walmarts in the evening. Anyone else? Like after around like 11, it's just not fun to go in there anymore. Um, there's too many people. And then, then I think that's it. So I'll fill you in after the last Walmart of the day. Okay, I did okay in the last grocery outlet. That's what usually happens. The one thing I didn't think about necessarily with this trip is that normally I would test stuff in and then know I could go back and get more, but now I'm like, do I send a little more in because I'm not coming back to get more? Um, so it's a little bit of a risk and something that, again, like I didn't quite think about. Anyways, the app started to have issues. I don't know if it was in that store. I kind of feel like I remember that store always has issues or if the app was just having issues because that could be it. Also, um, here's what kept happening. Like literally kept saying server was down, server was down. So then I went to use Bybot Pro or Go or whatever they call themselves now. And that also was having issues, but it was working. Anyways, all that to say that I just was like, eh, I guess I'm done for the day. So I came across the street here to Marshall's because I just wanted to get some more of the items and look for some new stuff. And I'm glad I came because I did get more of my replen items to send in, stuff that I've been selling so I know it's gonna sell, um, as well as another new item that I found today. So that's exciting. And then I got an email from Amazon that they're removing some listings for Crest for some reason. And I have so much crests that I'm sending in. So hopefully it looks like his old listings because my SKU was Geo, which is grocery outlet, which would be like over a year old at this point. So I'm thinking they're just old listings because they still have some active crests. But anyways, slightly concerning. <laughs> Always something with Amazon. So overall day two was a success. Success. I found some good stuff. I would have thought or hoped to fill it up more, but I'm going to go take it home, unpack it all, and do it all again tomorrow for day three. Day three, we'll have two grocery outlets. I think at least one Walmart, possibly two. I can't remember how many they have there. And I think a Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So a little bit less of a day, which is good because my feet are really hurting. Anyways, I will check back in tomorrow for day three. 
Good morning, it is day three. So today, it's a little bit later start, it's seven o'clock because I'm mostly just going to Grocery Outlet and Marshall's TJ Maxx. I think there's like two Grocery Outlets and three or four Marshall's TJ Maxx home goods on the way. So, first up though, I'm going to Walmart to get mostly get boxes and swoop through the toy aisle and see what I can find. So let's head out for day three. I guess it's good <laughs> so I got at grocery outlet I got like a good stuff but like not not even a cart full you could still see the bottom of my cart I hadn't even covered the whole bottom of the cart it ended up being two boxes so that's back there I went to home goods still got nothing I went to TJ Maxx got like two replens um, a little bag again and then I came over here to Target where I did get some stuff so I scanned some toys, got replays of toys that I've been selling, and then I scanned this one toys that there's like four variations, four characters. And two characters made money when I thought the price was $9.99 because I used the Walmart, or Target, I'm at Target, the Target app and scanned them. And then when I got to the U checkout, I only got the two that were making money, they were on sale for $5.49. So that, at that price, they all made money. So I went back and grabbed all, everything that was there, all four characters. So I did pretty good at Target. Now I'm gonna go grab a Starbucks because I'm dying. And then I'm gonna go to the second and last grocery outlet, grocery outlet number seven of the trip. And also go to Marshall's and another Target. And then I'll be done. So it might be an early date. It is one o'clock right now, so. Oh, also my back started going out. I literally was using the cart as a walker. Um, so I guess I can't really source three days in a row. Two days might be my max. But anyways, I'll let you know how the last couple stores go in just a bit. All right, so I went to the last grocery outlet. So now I've been to seven on this trip. And I didn't get a whole lot. So, so far these two grocery outlets today, not a whole lot, which does make sense because I'm basically replanning or like, there's only so much of something I want to send in, right? Then I went to a Marshalls and a Target and literally I got one thing at each store and I was already kind of over it because my back hurts, my feet hurt. I'm just done with the day. And so then to get one thing was like, yeah, I could have just left. But you know when you just can't pass up a store? Like, it's on my way. I got to go because what if they have a lot of stuff? And I didn't go. Anyways. So now I'm going to pack it all up. I have two and a half days to pack it up. I have help because my parents are going to help me pack it. So that's awesome. But anyways, yeah, I will let you know how it goes after I've packed it all up, what the total profit is and all of that. And then there'll be part two where I'm going to recap what the sales look like. Like I said what my profit estimate was, but what is it actually? So I'll check back in in a couple days when it's all packed up. <laughs> just got back from the UPS store shockingly it all fit in that Jeep I was a little bit shocked I thought for sure I was gonna have to do two trips but turning it up on its side all fit in so that was awesome I don't think I have ever sourced three days back to back even during Q4 it's not three days full days back to back so that was a lot and I think I'm gonna stick to two days overall as I was sourcing every day it didn't totally feel like every like like every day the car wasn't really full. It didn't feel like a great day. I was like, I got some good stuff, but I kind of felt like it was a meh sourcing trip. 
and ended up being my biggest shipment ever or that I can imagine anyways I can't remember bigger than this 645 items it was the first time I ever got a pop-up that said hey you might want to do a pallet shipment because it ended up being so heavy a lot of what I got was heavy which I knew and I was like well I'll just do it but it ended up being kind of hard because they were big and heavy so I ended up having to put everything in smaller boxes where I usually like to put it all in bigger boxes but it just didn't work out anyways I got it out the door it split my shipment up into two shipments, so most everything went to Stockton Warehouse and one shipment went to North Carolina, so that made packing up really easy. I didn't have a whole lot of labels to take off, so that also made it really go a little bit faster and my parents helped me prep by polybagging. I had so many bundles, so that was like the most difficult thing. I ran out of packing tape, which I did not anticipate, but luckily my parents had packing tape. I could have just easily got some. Um, but yeah, so that was the only thing that happened so far. Anyways, let's jump into Inventory Lab and I'll show you how everything came out. So Inventory Lab estimating my total sales volume, my gross sales that I could do from the shipment as 14589 Total buy cost of what I spent was 4300 Net profit, it's estimating at 5246 My average sales rank was 92000 74 different items for 645 items total and that's kind of interesting it tells you how many cubic feet so 34 almost 35 cubic feet as you can see most everything that i got was from grocery outlet so 85 percent of my whole shipment was grocery outlet which is awesome because that's what i came here for target six percent of my shipment tj maxx two percent walmart one percent basically two percent winco one percent and then i have target and TJ Maxx again because as you can see I want to be able to run a report after it's all sold or most of it has sold to let you know for part two of this video how it really did was it worth it did I make good profit because that's been something everyone's been asking and it's just a lot of follow-up on my end to have to figure it out so how I'm gonna attempt to do it is I put OR before the store so that I can pull the inventory lab by supplier and hopefully that will break it all up so I didn't want to change things that I'm already selling that were replens from Target and TJ Maxx because that would skew the numbers because it might pull in stuff that I sold from the past from those stores so anyways this is my attempt to be able to tell you because I don't know of a report you could pull an inventory lab which pulls it by the batch which would be awesome to know how every shipment went anyways I hope this video was helpful I will see you back here in four to six weeks well I'll see you back here next week for another video but in four to six weeks I will come back for part two to see was it really profitable so the plane ticket here plus the gas plus the cost to rent the car. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you need more help from me, definitely check out my website, yoursellingguide.com, where I offer beginner courses, uh, bolo group, and gating guides, anything that you need for your Amazon selling business. See you again next week for another Amazon selling video. Mm -hmm.